Hogan. All quiet? Yes, mister. All quiet. Is that their fault? You best leave her, mister. It's a quick way to the grave. Black velvet. No! No disrespect, mister! White fella bring back her. You keep away, Jabba, or Thunderstick goes bang. Understand? Master. The Journal of Jason Furbeck, 19th of June, 1833. Rumors are everywhere that the natives are rising against us. Yet I know of no evidence, save a few sheep falling to their spears. Is it a wonder? To the simple Aborigine, our flocks must appear merely as additions to nature's bounty. And an occasional sheep, small recompense for the hunting grounds, we have robbed them of. They hardly deserve the revenge settlers mete out to them. Don't be afraid, it's all right. Trooper! Who did this? Samuel! What has happened? We've been worried about you. I'll tell you all about that later. What's going on? Won't you introduce us? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, Anna Louise, this is Kate. She's going to work for us. 
Is she a convict? She was. She's not anymore. Now will you tell me what's going on? Oh, I don't know. A black man. They make so much fuss. He won't bite you. Why the mopes? Bottoms up, I say. Penny a glass to celebrate. It's a black. Who cares about a black? He's been shot in the back. Tell me what happened, or I'll have you inside for complicity. I don't know, mister. Sergeant! Sir! I swear it. It wasn't him. Settlers have been murdered. Eight of them. On the Murray River. Right. A shepherd yeah. been yeah. fall dead on the darling. We're not safe. They've been yeah. killing our sheep. Give us protection. Protection. Yeah. Yeah. protection. I have four troopers and one sergeant and 600 square miles of land. What do you expect? Me to do. We'll get more soldiers. Murder would only make things worse. More soldiers are coming. But remember this they're just as entitled to protection as you are. So long as I'm here, they'll have it. It's them, mister. They're back. Shepard, this is Kate. Kate Shepard will look after you. She's a house servant. Took your time. Father? You could at least welcome Kate. She was a servant. Yes. What she went about for? Never heard of no servants washing themselves. Well, you know but getting on this. Weakens your back and heaven knows what else. Makes them uppity. What's the difference between ladies and their servants if it ain't a bit of smell? Saints, the rat of an old. There's no such thing. Then all were short on favours with your misbegotten species. Molly? 
No need to say it. Bailey. Bailey! <laughs> Bailey, you Amazon set for... Ah, morning. <laughs> Did I mean I'd buy heaven? Not changed in all these years, more's the pity. <laughs> yeah, and you're as pretty as you ever were, eh? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, at ease. Corporal Bailey, sir. Seven Fleet, reporting for duty. Good. Come with me. We'll do our reporting less informally. It'll wait. Reduced to patrol duty. I've been a lot of spineless weevils. What girls such as me? Squatters, are they? Huh? A ball from Bailey's musket would have hundred blacks scurrying up the trees looking for shelter. What girl, Bailey? Spot of trouble in Parramatta. Patrol duty. It's a hard punishment on a man for want of a wench. Very hard. The girl, Bailey. <laughs> oh, she's a beauty. Oh, it's great. Breasts like marbles. <laughs> and the body is a welcome for a man. Like you used to be when we first met, Ma. I'll give you marbles. Dark streets. Convict wenches sweating and groaning for the want of a man. What have I been reduced to? Patrol duty for want of a wench. Patrol duty. Mister, I swear it. Look! What does he think he's paid for? They can't guard flocks from native spears. It's impossible. They will by God. One more, do you hear, and I'll have your back in ribbons. I don't have to work for you, mister. That'll do. Go back to your duties. Why? There's no rhyme or reason. Not as if they were taking the meat. Revenge, mister. Revenge? If they want revenge, they can have it. Mine. Tobacco, master. Who's killing my sheep? No sheep, master. Sheep, you lying bastard. Who is it? Him? 
No sheep, master. I've told you, keep your side of the river. I'll give you supplies. Cross it, you're dead men. Don't you understand a bargain? Understand. Master. If it's you, Jabba, killing my sheep, I'll slit your black throat. It's not an improvement on grubs from the trees. <laughs> You've no idea what I'm saying to you, have you? I could insult you, you wouldn't know. Stone Age strumpet, cannibal whore. White man's velvet. Loyal unto death for a worthless trinket. Yet when you smile, you bridge a million years. You know that. Jabba say if he could see you now, would he still love you? What is Jabba to you? Lover? Betrothed? Husband? I'd kill sheep too to keep you mine. That's what Jabba's doing, isn't it? Killing my sheep to show you what a man he is. That he's not afraid of big white man with his thunder stick. Well, you tell Jabba I'll slit his ugly black gizzard. <whistles> See you smile then. Bailey, sir. Seventeenth. Patrol duty. Patrol? Orders. Ah, oh, pleased to hear it. Can I offer you a glass of ale? Ah. Oh. As a gentlemanly offer I'd given of overbearing. He's got forsaken parts. My name is Jason Furbeck. This is my property. Jason Furbeck? Yes. Well. Oh, well. Patrol. What do they want? Father's ale. Know who this is? This is Corporal Bailey, the man who put me in jail. The man so persecuted Kate he almost drove her out of her wits. Ways. If you wanted law, you have it. If you wanted protection, you have that too. Fine, upstanding guardians of your beloved English justice. Put those things out. I won't have them in my house. 
I won't have them in my sheep, Father. Am I not to be master in my own house? Well, I want Bailey to stay. He hates me with such a hatred, I think I'm in danger. And cross him, and he'll be away to the authorities with just the complaint they're waiting to hear. We're squatters, you know. Rebels. Bad citizens. How long do you think it would be before they cleared us off our land, sent us back within the border? Our rights are being recognized. They're appointing commissioners. The land will be ours. Who do you think the commissioners will be? Honest Christian men? You dream, Father. They're the people run the colony. I've told you before, it's not your time, not your place. It's his. Mine. I want Bailey to stay. Is that a greeting for a man worshipping the grounds you walk on? Why can't you leave me alone? No one's heard Bailey say sorry or for. I'm saying it now. Ain't that a reason for forgiving? Someone will have told you. What is it you want? You got blacks across the river. They're harmless. A few sheep, nothing more. We have orders to deposit. Not from me. If that is all. Of course. Yes, sir. We won't detain you. Thank you, sir. Away. I beseech you, sir. Send him away. Yes, yes. Come inside. The presence of this uncouth rogue has become oppressive, and I have resolved to have done with him. Samuel is to ride to the village to persuade Edward the fellow should be posted elsewhere. Why can I not be honest? Another reason urges me to dispatch Samuel away. At least for a while. 
His regard for the serving girl is more than it should be. There was a time my sons shared confidences with me. Their secrecy breeds unworthy suspicions. You'll see no harm comes to her, Father. Of course. Be on your way. Ensure Edward understands we have nothing against his corporal, but that he should be patrolling, not resident entirely in one place. Yes, Father. How many have you lost? None, mister. There's 434. Sure. On my own. It's them soldiers frightening them off. Soldiers? <laughs> All that? Aye, master. 592, just like a four. You can trust book of master. Not a hair on their backs while he's breath in me body. You're right. Not a hair. Oh, by God, you'll have no breath. Oh, you don't know the sound of trouble like I do. Are you deaf? All here, mister. Count them again. Would I lie to you? 407, I, I swear it. Count them. I'll wait while you do it. <laughs> so you're getting Edward to pack him off? It seems best. I want Bailey to stay. I have made up my mind. Sheep are being killed. The blacks are losing their fear. Must they always be afraid? Yes. You flogged Shepherd? Yes. May I know why? He must learn to count. I want Bailey to stay. We sotted in rum. Keep out the cold. Drink it. One thing, one thing. Where's Jabba? Frog. I have soldiers who want to drive you away. If Jabba's killing my sheep, I will ask the soldiers to come. They will probably kill you. Tell your brothers, Jabba is a dangerous man. Because he kills my sheep, you will all die. But if Jabba were to die, or be sent away, you'll all live. You'll have no more of your damn fool ideas, and that's certain. Ah, bastard. How did I know he'd count them again? There'll be more gone by morning. We ought to be getting back to the flock. You sit out there alone. It'll be you, not the sheep. Better than a flogging from master. Time was shepherds stuck together. Time was shepherds had the velvet. That's your mouth. The spear don't do it for you. Jesus.
you've done it now. Right back out there. You don't leave the family at a time like this. Uh, not me, mister. I'm not... Don't mister me. Get back to your employers or I'll lock you up as a runaway. Sergeant, uh, see that these men return back to their homesteads. Yes, sir. Right now. Back to your Move homesteads. On. Follow me. What happened? A spear. Did he annoy them or test them? No, not him, mister. Not him. Oh, Papa, you have angst. Du brauchst dich nicht zu fürchten. Ich bin hier. She's afraid. You should take her to Parramatta. Away from all this. To Parramatta? I'll send Jussie. You should all go. They say every word the blacks are rising against us. There are always wild stories. Stories? It is as if by some unseen signal the whole borderland has been set aflame. From north to south, it is the same grim story. Settlers murdered, the woman ravaged, stocks scattered to the winds. Well, there have been stories. But you should go to Parramatta. Yes, Anna. You and Jesse. That sounds reasonable. Will Luke be all right? He's quite capable of looking after himself, I assure you. What the devil do we do? Drive them out, sir. Clear the lot. What the blazes? We don't even know how many there are. They'd be no match for a platoon, sir. We can no matter. do without the jingos. Thank you, Sergeant. I think I'd better get back. We'll think of something. If we don't, there's others as well. What? Do something. You heard what the black lover said? What sort of justice is that? With Bailey lying dead, and they going free? Give him musket, boy. Ah, right. ah, right. ah, 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 all of us together. Right. 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 Do you want the military to hear? No, all of us together. It stinks on the house, lads, before we take justice and get it where it rightly belongs. And the black backsides are murdering devils. Light a candle in front of that cross of yours. Hey, you should tell Bailey in your prayers that I'll get the swine that did it for him. I'll be laid back more.
Someone's at them. Saddle the horses, I'll get the guns. She ain't. Soon enough. Hold it! Don't move! My God! 
Stop! Stay where you are! No more! tongue in your head. If you try to charge those people, you'll be the laughing stock of the colony. I buried Bailey, sir, alongside of you, and damnation, I say to them who done for him. Find me a man in the colony who says different. There'll not be a magistrate that'll charge him. It's still murder. And you won't find a jury who will agree with you. Can you see any judge hanging white settlers for defending their property? And a soldier did to prove it? The charges are being laid on evidence from Jason Furbeck. He knows the governor. He can know Jesus Christ, sir! No disrespect. I'm telling you, there's no man gonna charge those prisoners and survive, governor or no governor. You tell Master Luke, Miss Jessie, if he don't get me out, He'll be in here along with me. You're not to talk like that, Morgan. Begging your pardon, miss, but I ain't swinging for any man who takes his pleasure and then leaves the others to pay his price. I don't understand. Nor should you, Miss Jessie. But he will. Was him brought it on. I says so. I will. You have consulted with a female black? You have brought about the slaughter of innocent people. You're not my brother. 
You've just gone so far from what Father and I believe. 12,000 miles. The same as you, to a new beginning. But not to forget what we were. Yes. Oh, yes. You say that because... Because it's true. Because you can be what you want to be without remorse, without shame. Shame? Ask her what England meant if it wasn't shame. Do you forget the scars, the rape, the indignity? She won't. Of course we start again. Without that kind of a law. Without sham, without your thousand years of hypocrisy, not even ten, Father. We're back to the roots. Back to the age of stone. Leave my house. I killed Corporal Bailey. You, Kate? Yes. What will you do now? Fine Christian gentleman. Throw her to the lions? Put her back for other Baileys? <laughs> They'll open these again. Add salt. Have you seen it? Raw? Seeping? So do they. It's still them against us. No one has to win. The predicament is a real one, and is not one I can face calmly. I believe I have courage, but not as David against Goliath. It is clear to me it would be a folly to go on. What do you want me to do? Decline to give evidence so I can withdraw the charges. We have to forget what has happened. And let those devils go free? Yes. But our principles, you would have us all hypocrites. Was Bailey the only honest man among us? Yes. I can't do it. Please, Father. Must I? I think we should. And so the good must die, unsung, but the bad may live for. Like kings. <laughs>